Another thing that we can do is that even if we stick with the traditional panel layout, a simple thing that we can do is to change the overall shape of the panel. So instead of using four squares, right, four rectangles, and then one big panel, rectangular panel at the bottom, like this artist, he smudged out and he also bled out the pages a little bit to make it look like a, you know, watercolor painting. And just by simply verifying the usual rigid angular corners of traditional panels, he made this page so much more beautiful and so much more fluid and so much more interesting and dynamic. I think this art is really beautiful. All right, let's upgrade a little bit. We talked about how we can change certain things but still stick with the paneling idea. So the next thing that we can do, we can also learn from this artist right here. Let me clear all the other panels. And he or she used one element in the main panel to frame the whole page. And this element is what we can see here, the smoke or the steam coming out of whatever this main character is cooking. And even though technically speaking, we have two panels, two traditional looking panels right here. We got a rectangular longer panel right here, and then we have a more square panel down below. But just by adding or extending one element from the main panel and using that to frame the whole page, we can feel the steam flowing out. We feel like we are actually in this set looking at what's happening and we are involved with the environment of the story. And that's also one thing that we can do to break away from the traditional paneling is to use one element that is that can actually frame the whole page and extend that, bleed that out all around the page to blur away the harsh division between panels. I think that's one thing that we can also learn and I think that's so creative. Okay, let's upgrade even more. And this is the trick that I really loved and I have learned and applied to my Nemesis 2 sketches. And he is one of my favorite uh, comic artists right now, Jorge Jimenez. And you can follow him on his Instagram. He's a great DC comic artist. He's mainly doing Batman and also uh, Superman comics right now. And what he consistently does, or what he always does, is that he combines some really cinematic, interesting ideas with traditional paneling. His page are so beautiful to look at, and also his characters, his action scenes are incredible. But besides that, when it comes to paneling and designing his page, take this page for example, we've got some traditional panels right here in various sizes, so that is already a variation of what we have seen in the traditional paneling. But also he made the character stick out to blur the edges of the characters. Uh, and also emphasizes everybody's attention onto the main character. And by doing this, the main character stands out. It's fused together with the environment. It's also fused together with the whole page layout. Batman and Catwoman right here, they are framing half of the page using the other panels in various sizes, framing the rest of the page. Just sticking the characters out makes it look so, more, so much more three-dimensional and so much more interesting to look at. This page, I thought it was a great example of upgrading and changing the traditional paneling idea by sticking the characters out using it to frame the page, making the whole page much more dramatic to look at. And he also provided us with a very, very interesting idea for paneling or for page design, which is this. I thought this page is beautiful. Of course, you can, as you can see, this is Batman cover. I'm not also sure that you can use this in a very creative way on one of your pages which is to not use panels at all and using certain shapes to function as a panel to bring 
all the stories of this whole page together without using any panel lines. What he did right here is that he basically used a very simple shape of Batman's silhouette as a page divider, just like what a panel is, right? He used it as the background. He divided the page into three sections, basically using the Batman's silhouette. And then inside that silhouette, he painted the main character. This page looks so beautiful because it completely broke the tradition and the shackles of actually laying down lines of four panels on a page. But it still does not hurt the story. It tells you who the villains are, who the main character is, and by using a silhouette or simple shape functioning as a panel, he told, he told so many information. He squeezed so much information in one panelless, frameless page. And this is something that we can definitely learn. It's so creative. I love this design. And you can see this with uh, Jorge Jimenez art a lot. So yeah, follow him. He's, he's a great artist. 